America falls, but who will hear their call? In the land of liberty, justice seems so small. We cry out for compassion, we scream for human rights, but our leaders and our shepherds turn away from the fight. Silent no more. Sunday morning sermon, a call to conscience for the silent shepherds. Brothers and sisters, gather round this Sunday morning as we confront the complicit silence of those who should be our champions. Reverend William Barber, Reverend Al Sharpton, where is your voice for the injured workers of America? We stand here, united in faith and purpose, seeking justice for those who toil tirelessly yet suffer in silence. Our community looks to you, our leaders, to speak out against the injustices faced by our brothers and sisters. The silence is deafening, and the need for advocacy has never been greater. Let us not forget the sacrifices made by these workers, and let us demand the change they so desperately need. Together we can amplify their voices and bring about the justice they deserve. Every day, a recycling worker dies on the job, facing perilous conditions that most of us can't even imagine. These workers, who are the backbone of our recycling industry, risk their lives to ensure a cleaner environment for all of us. In this land of opportunity where the American dream promises safety and prosperity, yet these workers are often overlooked, their sacrifices unnoticed. Yet where is the outcry? 
Where are the voices demanding justice for these unsung heroes? The silence is deafening, and the lack of action is a stark reminder of the injustices they face daily. Reverend Barber, Reverend Sharpton, you who stand in the lineage of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who fought tirelessly for the rights of the oppressed and the marginalized, where is your outcry for the injured, the oppressed, the silenced? These workers need your voice, your advocacy, your leadership. They need champions who will stand up and demand safer working conditions, fair wages, and the respect they deserve. The time for action is now. Dr. King spoke boldly against the injustices faced by the working class. His words resonated deeply, echoing the struggles and aspirations of millions who sought equality and justice. He was a beacon of hope, a symbol of relentless pursuit for a better tomorrow. But today our leaders rally for Medicare for All, a cause that seeks to provide healthcare as a fundamental right for every citizen. This movement aims to ensure that no one is left behind, that everyone has access to the medical care they need. They shout for a $15 minimum wage, advocating for fair compensation that reflects the true value of labor. This demand is a call for dignity, for the recognition of the hard work that sustains our economy. Yet, despite these efforts, they remain silent on the federal human rights issues of our injured workers. These individuals, who have given their strength and health to their jobs, often find themselves abandoned, their struggles ignored. This silence is not just complicity, it is a betrayal. It is a failure to uphold the principles of justice and equality that Dr. King so passionately championed. We must remember his legacy and continue to fight for the rights of all, ensuring that no voice goes unheard and no injustice remains unchallenged. Doctors lie to deny injured workers their rights, granted state immunity to do so. Is this not a modern-day crucifixion of justice? We demand you, faith leaders, to break your silence. Break the silence, join the fight for justice. Hash justice for workers, hash break the silence, hash faith in action, hash workers' rights.